Today we are gonna be cleaning my stove. Welcome to Andrea Jean Cleaning. I have a poll playlist in the description box below with all sort of cleaning goodies that pertains to grouch, your bathroom, but today we are doing my stove. See this black stuff right here? This has really been driving me crazy. So I wanna get it off and I wanna see if I can make this stove top look as new as possible. I'm also gonna be trying to attempt it cleaning these as well. Let's see what we can do. These are the things that we're gonna be working with here today. I'm gonna to be using this Dawn dish soap, some baking soda, hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, baby, this is gonna make a nice chemical reaction. I'm going to be using this scrub pad here and some gloves, of course, to protect my nails, ring, skin, all of that good stuff. So let's get to work, shall we? So I wanted to show you in real time the amount of elbow grease that this actually took to get some of these spots up here. And in fact, we're actually gonna be using my stove as a bit of a guinea pig, a trial run here. There's a product that I have not yet shown you that I will hear probably about midway through this video. I wanna be really upfront about my experience with this process. There's some good, bad, and some ugly. Okay, so it's been three minutes. Now I'm gonna go in and scrub things up and just see how easily some of this grease and grime lifts up. I have this little scraper here I'm gonna use as a reinforcement as well. Let's see what happens. So we bought this house about two years ago. We moved from the Minneapolis St. Paul area to here in Wisconsin and I've never really gotten in here and cleaned the stove. I was pregnant with my third baby when we moved into this house and was transitioning to full-time work at home in my corporate job. And for those of you that are new here, I also have a side business, this Andrea Jean Entrepreneur, where I teach you how to turn your passions into profits. So that additional YouTube channel is linked in the description box below. But hit me up on Instagram to learn more at Andrea Jean one But now you can see here I'm pregnant with our fourth baby. And so I thought, well, now's the time to try to get this clean. And I had someone comment recently on a grow video how did you let your floors get so disgusting well one it was like this when we moved in and two you're busy like the last thing you want to be doing is scrubbing and digging here can I get a thumbs up if you can relate to that one heck yes So now I'm just gonna take this warm washcloth and wipe this down and kind of see what we're working with. You saw there, I had to put quite a lot of elbow grease into getting all those black spots up. But as far as just like kind of stuck on your everyday grease, yeah, this definitely worked well and it came up very nicely. So I did like the scraper that I used. I think that is the magic token to getting those sort of black spots off. If you have any of those in your own home, so now that I've wiped this off, let me get you in really close so you can see what it looks like. So as you can see, it does look a lot better. Now here's a problem. Let me get you in super close here. I hope the camera can pick this up. Do you see these little scratch marks here? That's from this. So 
That's a bummer. Oh my goodness. And I know it's from this because when I look at the other ones that I haven't quite cleaned up yet, none of them have those scratch marks. So the beauty is, yes, I did get the dark spots off like you can see here. But what I got in return are these little scratch marks right here. So this baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, and Dawn mixture is not necessarily working for really tough, stuck on stuff like something like that. But for your everyday messes, yeah, it came up really quickly. These are often things that you have laying around your house already. The hydrogen peroxide, uh, baking soda, and Dawn. So I would use it for that, but not necessarily for tough on stuff like this. Now I was gonna try it here on the racks, but I'm actually gonna do a different video. I wanna try a different combination of things to try and clean these up here. So stay tuned for that one. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up and we're going to take a final peek on what it looks like. So I should get that video up where I clean the racks here in the next week or so. I'm super excited to try two products, so stay tuned for that one. Now I could have left this paste on longer, but to be honest with you, I don't think it would have made that big of a difference. One of my favorite stove cleaners is Method. It comes in a gray bottle if you're looking for something outside of this. Just for a little comparison's sake, I'm gonna take a little brush like this and see what it does on this one. Okay, so that's not really doing much of anything. Let's go back in with my green little pad here. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be trying this product out with you shortly again. My stove is a bit of a guinea pig. That's all right, I like to try things and experiment th with things. This is an old stove, it works great, but you know, let's have a little fun here too. Also, this pad here, my husband and I debated whether the scratches were from this, and it's not because as I looked back and I was scrubbing here, the only place there were those scratches was where I used that green chipper sort of tool. Now I love that tool. But yeah, definitely left some marks there for me. Okay, I wanna try one last thing. I'm just gonna use a tiny little amount. I'm gonna put it on that black spot over there. Um, this is a scratch, but I'm gonna put it on that black spot right there and see if this would do the trick. So I'm just gonna go in with my rag and see if it wipes off. Let's take a peek at our final product here. I will say it is looking much better. I did go in a little bit here and just wipe down and scrub a little bit more. But overall, it does look pretty nice. It's just these pieces are really, really tough. So I either need to find something that could potentially get this up that's not gonna scratch the stove here. Um, like you can see, let's even get the camera in there. You can see the scratches that it left. Now this is a really good camera for picking this sort of stuff up. Now if I were to move away kind of by the naked eye, you can't necessarily see it as well. So, that's kind of a bummer. Um, well, <laughs> the dirt's up, but now I got these scratch marks. I'm not gonna do it here. If you have any ideas about how you could potentially get these up, things that you have tried, let me know. Perhaps if I left the solution on or the paste on a little bit longer, that might work. See these black marks here? Yeah. But overall, as a cleaner, I think it worked very nicely. So now I have a ton of cleaning goodies for you in the description box below in a playlist. I did some mattress cleaning. I showed you a strategy to do that. I also tried out three different ways to clean your grout and I give you my favorite option. And then moving on to this video, I tried the solution out on three different services in three different bathrooms to give you a good idea about that one. This one has to do with oven rack cleaning, easy off. I actually have two oven rack cleaning videos that will be in that description box as well. And then last but not least, I have videos where I tried out probably about 20 different products and give you my honest opinion 
on those. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe for weekly cleaning motivation. Give the video a thumbs up and thank you so much for being here.